what's up guys i hope you guys are all doing well today thank you for coming here stopping by watching another video that i love and enjoy making for everybody today we're not going to do a full painting though we're going to do something a little bit different today uh, a lot of people ask me about the clear gel and the fluid stuff that i put on before i start painting so a lot of people want to know how do you apply that and things like that so i just want to i, I thought it'd be easier to instead of answering you know hundreds of people just do a little uh, demonstration for you guys and just kind of show you how I make it and apply it. Uh, another thing, maybe I'll put a background up and maybe we'll put a few trees or something back there, but the idea is going to be just to show you how I apply it, what I do, stuff like that, you know. Um, also, I wanted to address something here real quickly before I get started on this. A lot of people seem to think that I've been doing this for a long time and they also want to know how did I start, you know, what got me into this. And I don't know... Maybe I didn't make it real clear in the past, but I'll just kind of run this down real quick. In 2011, I fell in a major depression. Um, it was a very, very bad depression, and I, I just, I did, I, I really hated myself. I, I thought I was worthless, and it was, it was an everyday thing. It wasn't something that just, you know, it would come and then it would go. It, it hit me hard around then. A lot of things happened that worked me up to that point. But once I fell, I fell hard, I fell flat on my face, and I just, I, I didn't like myself, I didn't appreciate myself, and like I said, I felt very worthless. So that lasted for several years, you know, uh, up and down, up and down of just, some things I just can't say here on YouTube, if you know what I mean, but it was a very, 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 very tough time for me. In 2016, you know, something sparked me to want to try painting. I saw something on television and I said, oh, that looks pretty cool. Maybe I should try that. I don't know. It looks satisfying. That was my thought. I remember it at the time. I thought it was satisfying to, to watch. So I, that day I went down to, you know, one of the art stores down by the shore and it was, it was actually in the middle of a blizzard and I drove down there. It was me and my oldest daughter. We went down there and I bought it was like nine hundred dollars worth of worth of stuff. I, something hit me when I walked through the door, and I got in that one aisle, and there was all these oil paints there, and these canvases and different things. I just I felt I felt a feeling that I didn't feel in a very long time. I don't know if it was like a sense of peace or, or what it was. Anyhow, I don't want to ramble on that. So I got the stuff. I came back home. I started to paint these pictures, and once again, I had a feeling that I just I, I really it's hard to explain the feeling. But I continued and I continued and I kept painting and I started uploading and people started to like them. The feedback hit me and um, that was the beginning of my, you know, my journey to where I'm at right now mentally. You know, I don't do this for any other reason than to because it makes me feel good inside. And I also now do this and record it and film it and all that stuff because it seems like it's helping other people and that's what I like about it and that's why I'm going to continue doing this. Um, if it wasn't, if I wasn't helping other people at this point and I didn't get all the great feedback, I don't know that I would record this. You know, it's about helping, you know, all you guys and it's about, you know, getting that feeling, not about the outcome of the picture. I say that all the time. Who cares about the outcome? If you can feel great doing it, then you need to be doing this right here. And I'm like living proof because technically, like I said, I can't say too much on YouTube, but I definitely 100% should not be here today. I feel like I just shouldn't be here today, but I'm here and I don't have that. I don't have that depression anymore. And it's, uh, it's just worth everything to me. So I, you know, I thank each and every one of you for your feedback and your comments and all of the wonderful things that you have said to me. So I am going to spend a lifetime here on YouTube, trying to make these little cool tutorials for you guys and paintings and stuff like that. You know, you can just kind of paint along and, and hopefully you get that satisfaction. That is my goal. I hope that you guys get the satisfaction that I have been able to get in the last three years. And if I can help get that to you, then that's good enough for me. So that is enough of me talking. I just wanted to say that because so many people say, how did you get into this? And it's like, it's kind of tough. I don't want to email this big, long novel to everybody. And if you're wondering why I'm talking to the left, because I have a new microphone off to the left. I like the, the lav mic that I would mount right here, but it hits my cross and then I have to tuck my cross in. And I like to, I like, I don't like tucking my cross under my shirt. I like it to be out. I like it to be exposed. So there's a lot of meaning behind this cross right here. I've had this cross since 2011. One day I'll tell that story. It's a good story. So let's go ahead and get started with the clear gel application on a black canvas. 
All right, so I'm gonna hold this palette up here. Hopefully it is not too bright. So you'll see here I have um, the clear gel and then I just have my standard colors that I use all the time. Not gonna get into those yet. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this clear gel that's here and I'm just grabbing, let me just actually hold this up for you guys. So I'm just gonna take some of this here and I'm just gonna take my brush and I get some on like this. See how I tap into the corner? A little bit of that on there, all right? That's how I load it every time I hit right into the corner. Just like that. I don't smash into the big pile. I go right into the corner because you'll have a big mess. You don't want to put too much at once. I generally start in the middle, right around here like this. And I just kind of work back with this like little X pattern. Okay, I start off like this generally. All right, you can see that getting applied there. And then as you get further away, you can do little circles if you want. You can apply this in so many different ways as far as you know, strokes back and forth, up and down, circle. I find that the circles, when you do circles, it gives you more coverage. That that I do find. All right, so I'm just gonna continue with the, uh, doing the X's, back and forth. I'm only gonna cover this about maybe halfway. And if you notice, you see, I'm just kind of borrowing some from here and, and coming over here with it. All right, you can see that. You can see the glare on there. I'm, I'm, I'm not picking any more of it up. I'm just kind of working it around because this stuff actually spreads pretty well. And this is where the circles come in handy right here. And if you look, I'm, you know, I'm putting, I'm putting a pretty good amount of pressure. You can see the brush; it's, it's pretty bent. All right, back to the little X's up here. I'll go back into the center like this, pull some of this, you know, pull some from the center, back down to here. And I kind of just switch it up. I do circles and I do X's. Either one is fine. And then I kind of work back over like this. Just kind of make everything nice and even. All right, now you remember that pile that I had on, this is actually a, a canvas board, I'm using it for a palette. But you see that right there? That's what is left out of that pile. So I only tapped into the corner. This is a 12 by 16 canvas right here. So that little bit covered this entire thing. Okay, boom, just like that. Grabbing a roll of paper towels real quick here. Just gonna wipe the one inch off. I just want to show you something. All right, so <clears throat> let's say that I was going to start, I wanted to do like a little forest or something like that. So I normally, well not normally, colors vary depending on what scene you're, you're doing, but I'm just going to make a little background here real quick. So I'm just going to take a little bit of blue. See that? I load the brush the same way every single time. I hit the corner. That's it. You see that? There's not much in there. So I hit the corner and then I'm going to take some of this blue color and you're not going to be able to see it, but I'm going to spread some of that blue color around, you know, just right over top of the clear gel. Every single time I load the brush up, I pull from the corner. All right. So now you can't see it, but we have blue on here. And what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to take a little tiny, tiny bit of black, not too much. Blue and black. I just want to kind of spread some of the black around. It just dulls the blue just a hair. Okay. I'm just wiping my brush off here with this paper towel. And I'm just trying to show you how I would start the background after putting, you know, the clear gel on. So I just wiped this off I'm, I'm on the paper towel. I'm not cleaning it with anything. And now I'm just going to take pure white right here, which is probably hard for you to see. All right. Pure white paint. And then I'll come up here and then, you know, figure where do I want my light? 
and I'll just start to work it like this. And this don't have to be a forest. This could be a nighttime sky. This could be you know, many different things. All depends on what you want it to be. But you see that I have I had a very minimal amount of paint on here and I'm just kind of working it around like this. I started off in my brightest area, which was here, and then I work away, leaving some of those dark areas in there because that's gonna, it's really gonna help you. And I only loaded up one time, you know, with some white paint. I didn't load up any more than that, just once. All right, and I'm just gonna work and work and work over to here. I want it to get darker. And maybe in yours, you want it to be light on this side. I don't know. I'm just, you know, this is how I'm doing it. So if I wanted it a little bit lighter, I can actually steal some from here and bring it right over here like that. And then I can go back over top of this with like a real light touch. And it just kind of blends it out at this point. I'm not changing brushes or, you know, anything like that. I'm just kind of doing my thing here, you know, little circles and little X's and all that stuff all right so there you have that let me just actually let me blend up and down real quick on this just to smooth this out a little bit better and I, I did paint this with black gesso before I you know before I started all right I'm actually gonna grab a little bit more white and I'm gonna go right about here I just want to show you something. I want this to be a, a bright area right here. Right, so I'm actually, I have a glare. I'm going to step back and take a look at this real quick and see how it looks. I keep forgetting I don't have that uh, lavalier microphone on my on my shirt. I so I just stepped back because there's a. I'm seeing a glare. Hopefully it's not too bad. For you guys, I just wanted to see how, how that looked from a few feet back. So this is a nice little bright area right here, okay? I'm not doing a detailed painting here, but what I am doing is showing you how to put a background in to start. I don't know, maybe you want to do a forest or something like that. So so this could be a nighttime forest of some sort. So I'm setting the one-inch brush down. And this is where I would grab the filbert. This is where I would grab the filbert way and just for the sake of I'm losing my words today <laughs> so all right let me do this I'm gonna get just some some blue and a little bit of brown some blue and brown a little bit of white maybe and then I would start dropping in some some trees see like background stuff You know, just little things like this. All right. So that would be some background trees. And I would do them more detailed if we were doing a full painting. All right. So I would do that. And then let's say we're moving forward into our foreground after we put some leaves and different things back there. We're going to make a closer up tree. So let me do this real quick, actually, because this is something I would do. I would actually take this brush, the dirty one inch, and I would just kind of feather out those distant trees, okay? It just kind of sets them into the painting. So I go back to the filbert now, and I'm gonna get me some brown, some nice brown paint here, a little bit of black in it maybe. Brown and black, and this is what I want to do. I'm gonna say we're already halfway through our painting, and I'm going to drop in a nice little tree here like this see that all right just picking up some more of that brown color so we have that there and then let's just drop another one right little little skinny one right there just like that all right, so like I said, I'm kind of imagining that I'm, I'm closer up here in the canvas right now. 
put in our detailed trees and or detailed our, our far trees. We put them back there. All right. So I'm going to stick probably with, let's see here. I'm going to try to stick with the filbert. So we have light coming from this area back there. All right. To make this easy, I'm going to grab some yellow ochre, yellow ochre and some white on my filbert. Just yellow ochre and white right there. All right, let's just pretend the light is on the left side. And then I'm just going to pull it down. I'm just going to pull this right down like this, right down the left side. Boom. All right. Looks a little weird, right? Probably could have used a smaller brush, but that's all right. All right, so there is <clears throat> there is that. Now, I'm going to wipe this off, and I do this I do this often. I get the paint down and then I work with it after that. All right, so I wiped my filbert off and now I'm going to come in like this and I'm going to blend that back edge and just make different texture. Now pay attention to this because this is important. Making different texture, I'm killing that back edge and then before you know it, you know, it starts to look like a little tree. See? And I'm just kind of tapping and pulling and tapping and pulling is all that I'm doing right there. All right. So, so anyhow, I don't want to go crazy. I, I don't want to go crazy here. I wanted to just show you about the actual, you know, just the, the gel. That was the intent. All right. So I'm going to cut that right there because, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't intending on doing any kind of a painting or anything like that. I just wanted to make this video for everybody that has asked me the question about how much of the gel do you apply to the canvas? So that was the principle for this particular video right here and to answer the other question that I am frequently asked. So I hope this guy, I hope this, I, I am so horrible at endings. I need to like, I'm gonna start scripting my endings for these YouTube videos. So what I'm trying to say is I hope that this helped you guys as far as how much gel do you use? Now keep in mind, you can also mix white paint with the gel you know, uh, I wouldn't recommend mixing any other colors except for if you were doing like a, like a, uh, like a mountain landscape, and you wanted to apply some nice blue color to get that transition from dark to light. You can mix your gel 50/50. So there's other options. I'll make other videos in the future. But seriously, I hope this helped. I hope I answered your other question for those that have asked, and uh, I will see you guys really, really soon. Have a great day. Have a great, have a great month. It's almost, you know, summer's almost over. You don't have that much time left. Go to the shore, wherever, wherever you live, or a lake or a beach, and just kind of get out, have fun, get some sun, do all that good stuff. Don't forget to subscribe. Do that right now. I'll wait. All right, thank you. Hit the bell, and uh, yeah, that's about it. So have nothing else for today. See you guys real soon. Thanks. Take care. See you.